Uh, I'm Simona and uh, I'm part of the team. I'm uh, the reserve and test driver for the team. So uh, I'm involved in all the development of, of the race car and uh, also the simulator work that we do uh, before each race. I started racing quite early. Uh, I would say when I was six years old, uh, I started go-karting. Uh, I've had a career that has brought me pretty much all over the world. I spent a lot of time in America, in IndyCar, uh, raced in Australia as well in supercars and uh, tested Formula One. Uh, in 2014 as well and um, raced in Formula E as well in uh, 2016 so it's been a, a long career and now uh, I'm with Porsche since a, since a few years and uh, it's been a very exciting project with them in the in the Formula E program. I don't know how many people have uh, uh, have been to a race before, but uh, but yeah, this weekend I think there was a, there's a lot of pressure on us to to do well, and uh, today was a a little bit tougher, let's say. So hopefully we can really finish on a high tomorrow. That's great. First of all, that's impressive, and most certainly a much more exciting career than mine. <laughs> With your experience driving so many different cars, how is Formula E harder or easier compared to other race cars? Well, it's, uh, it's just really different, you know, I think uh, when I look at myself 15 years ago, I never thought I'd be racing, you know, an electric car. It was really not even in our minds. And, uh, you know, when I, jo when I joined Formula E, it was uh, season one and season two. And uh, we were all kind of like, OK, what is this? We have to learn. And, and how you race is quite different as well, because uh, you have this all en energy management that you have to do, which you don't have in other cars. So um, for us drivers, it's quite challenging because sometimes you you want to overtake, but you need to really keep the energy. So there's a bit of strategy in that going on, which makes it quite tough. And uh, the sound is different as well. You know, uh, I remember my first race, I was on the grid and I could hear this. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, and I was like, what is this? And it was my heartbeat because, you know, normally in a normal race car, you wouldn't hear it. So, uh, so it's that's a, f a few different things. But for sure, the energy management part is the biggest different to, to any type of racing out there. That's amazing. And how much does in a Formula E car, which is so advanced technology-wise, to a degree that they know the tire pressure without stopping you in the pit and measuring it and everything is computerized, how much are the drivers involved in the car development and optimization? Yeah, well, quite a lot. You know, at the end of the day, you know, we, we still need to drive the cars. So there's a lot of optimization in how the software is built uh, for each racetrack. So, but you know, we we spend a lot of time in the simulator, kind of giving our feedback as well and uh, how we want to drive. You know, sometimes the data wants something different, but it's hard for us to to really do exactly that. So so it's always a, a mix and match between the, the engineers and the driver. And the, um, but you know that's what teamwork work really makes makes uh, the best out of it. So in that sense, you know it's a really big team effort. And the more information you have, the better you can get and the quicker you can get as well. I've seen the simulator in the HQ at Visa and it's at the size of this room and it's on oil pumps and it moves and there's like a 360 screens. This is like, so it seems like it feels like a real race. Yeah, it, uh, it looks very impressive. For us drivers, it's still a bit like PlayStation because, you know, when you crash, you can hit reset. So, so we kind of like that. But, uh, but you know, it, these things are in the sense, you know, what you see actually where the track is and stuff like that. It's, that's quite similar to the, to the simulator we use, but for sure on the all the feedback and stuff like that because it's really yeah it's quite impressive to see it's uh, uh, it's quite it's quite fun to drive you know because once you're in the car you it is an actual car so you feel like you're in the race car. One question that very I'm very curious about is that right now all the drivers that we've seen on the track are male drivers. You're a female driver. How do you fit in that industry and when will we see you on the racetrack? Yeah, it's, uh, well, you know, I've, uh, most of the time I've always been the only one or there's a very few female drivers, to be, to be honest. You know, I think uh, car racing and horse racing are the only sports where we compete uh, against the guys. And, um, you know, so far I've, uh, I've proven that I can be pretty quick now in Formula E. You know, it's a very specific environment. It seems like, you know, the drivers that are in kind of keep rotating. But, uh, you know, you never know. You know, we keep uh, keep doing our job in the simulator and maybe maybe one day we'll get the chance as well. Super. So thank you very much for listening. Thank you.